Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and making costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today's costume is none other than Ursula, the sea witch from Disney's animated classic, The Little Mermaid. Let's get started. We're gonna begin creating Ursula, the sea witch from Disney's The Little Mermaid. I've got some purple felt. I've got some black fleece here. I just bought a black fleece blanket. This is not gonna be enough fleece. I'm going to actually have to buy more, but I'm gonna start with what I have here and I'm probably just gonna make one tentacle to show you how I'm doing it. And I'm going to only film that tentacle. After that, you'll know how to do it and you can make your own. Um, but it'd be a long, boring video if I created like all six tentacles. <laughs> You're gonna do each one the same. I've got a pair of pants here that I never wear. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make this into the eels. And then I'm gonna go to Joann's and get some green or teal felt if I can and add to it and also some yellow felt for the eyes which I already have and then I have some lavender spray paint and these little cups I got from the grocery store I thought they'd be great as suction cups of course you're gonna want your fabric scissors hot glue uh, if you're using a sewing machine you'll need a sewing machine or needle and thread black thread probably is what I'll be using so that's uh that's it let's get started I have folded the blanket in half and I'm going to cut out the shape of my tentacle, my first tentacle, huh? and that way it'll be doubled and I'll just sew the edges to create the tentacle. This is what your tentacle pattern is kind of going to look like. So that's the folded edge and I just cut kind of like a going around into a tentacle here. If I laid it out, it looks like, like that, you know. It's just a long piece like that. I'm going to have to sew each side and I'm also going to cut where it, where it was folded and, and sew there as well. But I want to fill it first with the polyfill, which I got a huge box of polyfill right here. I got 10 pounds of polyfill. I'm going to be filling it with that. I just did this so that you could see the shape of the tentacle that I just finished sewing and this is double sided so well double paneled I should say so I just folded a blanket in half cut this design so that I would have two panels and sewed along the edges both on the top part and on the lower part all the way to the end
here she is, Ursula. We've got the wig, we made our necklace, I've got a corset I'm gonna wear. We've got our eels all set up. I just sewed them together and I'll be wearing them kind of like a shawl for a little more drama. They have eyes and mouth and everything on both sides of the eel. And I did notice they had one white eye and one yellow eye, so that's how I made them. So we're gonna be wearing that. I'm just gonna wear some black heels. I bought these beautiful earrings from Amazon for 10 bucks. And here is our tentacles, which turned out fabulous. I'm interested to see how it's all gonna work out and come together. And then I've just got some black opaque pantyhose I'm gonna wear. It will look like more tentacles, I thought, if I just wore pantyhose underneath. I've seen it with a skirt underneath, all different kinds of ways, but I'm just gonna use my legs. I did see eels online. As a shawl, you can buy these for $30 on Amazon, but they're not stuffed or anything. They're not shiny, they're like a plush material. This cost me $2 to, to create these. $2 and some time. And you're gonna wanna give yourself some time for this costume. Give yourself a week to create this costume because if you're gonna do the tentacles like I did, it's gonna take time for that. If you have a sewing machine, it will take a lot less time. And I did find online where they have just the tentacles you can buy and they're not bad. Uh, you could buy just the tentacles. They actually have wire in them, which was what I was going to try to do. But the wire that I bought was not strong enough to support the weight of the polyfill inside. I nixed that, didn't do it, and just sewed the tentacles in an upward fashion so that they would be off the ground and not dragging the ground. We'll get started with our makeup. It's time for makeup. And a shout out again to my girl Maddie who really helped me with my eyebrows today. She gave me good tips on getting your eyebrows glued down because I was not doing great at it. So I asked for her advice and I'll tell you how I did it. First off, you're gonna press inward when you're gluing your eyebrows and press upward so that your eyebrows are kind of straight and upward. They're nice and straight. And then you're gonna wait until the glue is a little bit tacky and press powder in and then when that dries, you're gonna glue again and press in the powder again. And it just really worked well. So thank you, Maddie, for those tips. If you don't know who Maddie is, she's a, uh, Maddie Madison is a drag queen. She does camp and 1950s and she's really funny. She does have a channel if you wanna check it out, I'll link it below. But speaking of queens, we are doing Ursula today and the inspiration for Ursula came from a queen called Divine. Divine gained most of his popularity back in the 1980s, maybe late 70s, when he was doing a lot of movies and stuff like that. He was born in Baltimore, Maryland in 1945. I just have my purple. It's just called purple. This is Mehron Paradise Purple. It's a water activated liquid to powder makeup, just like the Ben Nye Aqua. He didn't let it bother him. He just did what he did and he was totally okay with being himself in a time where it was kind of taboo and really not as accepted as it is today. So he actually ended up getting a job in high school as a florist. Divine's mother, Frances, actually suffered two miscarriages in 1940 and in 1943. So he was actually the third child and he ended up being the only child to come of his parents, Harris and Francis. His full name was Harris Glenn Milstead. And in school, Harris suffered from muscular dystrophy. He also was very effeminate and liked girly things. He loved to paint, he loved flowers. So he got bullied in school, but he was, a, he was strong willed, I think because of his parents. He had good parents and a really good upbringing and his parents always supported him. They were a strong uh, Baptist of the Baptist faith. They actually ran a daycare. So he said, screw it. When in high school, he ends up getting a, a job as a florist. And he did that for a little while and then ends up graduating from Towson High School in Maryland. And his muscular dystrophy actually kept him from being able to join World War II in the armed forces. He just worked normal jobs and his mom as well had to work through World War II. And after World War II, he would do different kinds of like performance art and stuff like that. Actually during Christmas time, he would 
dress up as Santa Claus and go entertain the kids at the daycare center that his parents owned and operated. And he actually stopped working for a little while and his parents supported him 100%. And he'd throw these lavish parties like with everybody he knew there and he would dress up as his favorite entertainer and actress which was Elizabeth Taylor and just kind of do that for a while and his parents were footing the bill for it so his parents were very supportive of everything that he did probably knowing that they were kind of part of the reason why they had him in therapy for a little while and his desire to do what he was doing just got stronger so his parents just supported it now as a child growing up is when he started to gain weight you look at this picture of him in high school he's then he doesn't look like he'll ever be a drag queen of all things. He started to gain a lot of weight in school because food was one of those love languages that his parents would kind of spoil him with, was food. So he gained a lot of weight after school and he was always bullied for all of these things. So you could look to Divine as actually a pillar of strength, you know, because he really didn't let it get to him very much. He became this actually pretty acclaimed queen. He was doing all kinds of projects. He did a whole bunch of different movies, probably most well known for his role in Hairspray and Pink Flamingos, Hag in a Black Leather Jacket, Andy Warhol's Chelsea Girls, Andy Warhol even did one of his silk screens of Divine. Sometime during his career, Divine was baptized into the Christian faith, so he really kept his core values instilled from his mother and father. He was just kind of vulgar. <laughs> A lot vulgar. He was a lot vulgar. He was real campy. If you don't know who he is and you're into drag and, and stuff like that, you should look him up because he inspired a lot of these heavier queens, I'm sure. I mean, he inspired a lot of people, I would say, coming from being bullied. And really, a lot of people, when they're bullied like that so much, go the other way. They get into drugs. and But he really made something of himself. He took it and ran with it. Okay. So you think I'm this? I'm going to be this and I'm going to be the best this you'll ever see in the world. <laughs> so I don't know. There's something to be said about people that are strong like that. And we need a lot more people like that in the world today who don't just fold up and quit. There's a lot of stigma behind drag today because of everything going on in the world right now. But I've always just looked at it as an art form because I do costumes and that's a big part of drag. That's why I always, you know, watched it and took interest in it because I love to see the costumes. And I, honestly, some of these queens look better than actual women. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way it is, but they're very convincing. So that's my spiel on Divine, which was the inspiration behind Ursula, if you didn't already know. I think Ursula was very divine. You know, the whole drag thing is personal for me because you know, my son is gay and he, dabbled in drag. Of course, he was 18 before he did it. I thought it would be cool if I could make his costumes and he could do it just as a side hustle, as an art form. I even encouraged it. But he's doing other stuff right now, hopefully. Maybe someday he'll he'll want to do it because it's just costumes and makeup, which he already does anyway, every day. So if he can make money doing it, why not? Everybody loves him too. Everybody loves him. He calls himself Rosie the Sinister, or just Rosie. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm just purpling myself. That is the name of the game right now. And this purple is showing up great. You know, some of them don't show up very well. And I'm starting to think that maybe if they sit too long in your makeup box, they don't work as well. They lose some of their pigment. I don't know. Our ears are gonna show, so I am doing my ears today. We're gonna start on our face, and then I'll finish purpling myself off camera, but you get the idea. We gotta start with the eyebrows and work our way down like I always do, top to bottom. And then by the time you get to the bottom, you're like, oh wow, we're almost done. You see this beautiful finished product? You know, I always thought that Divine passed away of some kind of drug addiction, but he was actually not a big druggie. I mean, he dabbled in that, but he wasn't like a drug addict or anything. He actually died of heart failure in his sleep at age of 42. And his birthday was October 19th, which is the day before mine. He was a Libra, so I knew I liked that guy. <laughs> I had a tried and true liquid liner to do my eyebrows. 
And for that, I need to look at a picture of Ursula. So there's different, <laughs> different versions of Ursula. What do you think about the new Ursula with Melissa McCarthy? What do you think about that? I was looking at a picture of her today and I'm going, a professional makeup artist did this? <laughs> I don't know what you think. And I'm not trying to be mean, but we're doing divine eyebrows, okay? That's how it's going down here today. I'm so pleased with the way my glued down eyebrows turned out. I've seen some really great depictions online of Ursula, all different kinds. You can do her really pretty, you can do her really ugly. <laughs> But, I mean, she's a fun character to do. There's really no right or wrong way, I guess you can say, to do this costume. So, you do it however you want. Pretty, sexy, whatever. <laughs> now, that said, I saw some costumes online that I really loved. There are some already made costumes out there on Amazon that are really nice. If you just want to go the costume route or the already made costume and not spend all the time, I get it. Believe me. And the one I would recommend is this one. This one was $119. It's got a fan in it. The tentacles blow up and $119 isn't bad. For what I did, I spent $122 on everything. Some of the stuff I already had at home, but $119 is just the dress and the necklace. But this is the one I liked the most. So you will need to buy a wig. And the wig is going to be $20 or $25. The one I have is $20, $25 I spent on it. Now that's a divine eyebrow if I ever saw one. There was another costume that I liked. This one was $189. But what I didn't like about it was the skirt underneath. This is all inclusive though. This is the entire costume. So it's $189.99, I'm sure, plus shipping. It looks good. I don't like the turtleneck underneath. Uh, I'd rather paint myself. I think it looks more authentic. Then you don't have any bunching or anything like that. But you know, $189.99 plus shipping. <laughs> and there were a few that I really didn't like. And one that was just like, why do a costume at all? So, but you do you, baby. You do whatever you feel you want to do. All right, let's do our other eyebrow. Divine. I'm now taking some gray Bin Nye Aqua and going all the way up to the brow with my gray Bin Nye Aqua. It doesn't matter if you go just a little below. You know, we're going to be doing the blue right here. I'm going to probably have to touch up my black a little bit in my brow, which is fine. Get that gray going. The aqua works better over the brow that's glued down. It covers better than just a regular eyeshadow and that's why I'm using the aqua. Just gonna get all up in that triangle, touch up where I went a little too far. Perfect. I have this color, which I thought looked pretty perfect for Ursula. If it doesn't work, I'll use something different, but it's, it's kind of an aqua color. We'll see how good it covers. This is Mirabella. Really want it to be bright. It's looking pretty good. I have a lot of lights on me. It might be hard to see. Of course, hers was really bold. So let's see. Tamix Revolution palette. That has a really good color in here too. So let's see. Oh yeah. Whatever blue you got should work, but you do want it to be bold and dramatic. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Oh, it's coming together. I'm really basing my look more on Divine than anything else. Because the character was based off of Divine, I'm trying to look more Divine. <laughs> That's my inspiration. I remember being a young girl and hearing about the death of Divine. I didn't know who he was at all, but I can remember that. And seeing pictures and going, wow, this individual is pretty different. <laughs> I mean, he was one of the first well-known major queens, if not the first. And coming out of Baltimore, Maryland, I just, I think that's kind of crazy. <laughs> You'd think like something like that's probably coming out of California or something. 
He lived in Lutherville, which is a suburb of Baltimore. So, I mean, it's not like he was in this big city or anything, you know? What I wanted to do was add in some sheen to my lid here, kind of going up like a shine. So I have some of these shiny colors in my Kat Von D Edge of Reality palette here. And I'm just gonna use one of them to add a, add a sheen. I'm probably gonna do a gold, just like that. Just like almost in a line. Of course, we have to line our waterline with black. Let's go ahead and do that. I did paint some of my arm to see how this uh, makeup was gonna do, and it was good. Of course, we're gonna do a cat eye for her. We're gonna have a real dramatic eye with lashes. Fun fact, um, since I do do cemeteries as well, Divine is laid to rest at Prospect Hill Park Cemetery in Towson, Maryland. And I will be visiting. I don't know when, but I will. Going under the eye just a little bit. I'm playing with my lighting so you can kind of see a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on and then I'll do my other eye. I actually had some blue Mayron. This is Brilliant Blue BB. I didn't realize I had it because I would have used this for my lids rather than anything. But I'll put down in the description below exactly what all I used, like I always do. And that way you'll know what you can get that's gonna look absolutely fabulous. But this you see that it, it works great it's almost better to use especially when you've done your eyebrows it's better to use like a some form of a liquid rather than uh just powder shadow because it just doesn't want to stay on maybe maddie's got the secret to that too <laughs> but this looks amazing so yay wasn't expecting that to happen isn't that wonderful now i'm gonna do a little bit more i'm probably gonna go back over my gold because I've, I've decided to use this you see, I'm squeezing my sponge to get in there. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go back over my gold a little bit and we'll be straight. Gotta do a little of the blue on the bottom lid because I embolden it on the other side. So let's, let's make it match. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyelashes and then we're gonna do all this part of our face. <laughs> All right, I put my eyelashes on and now she's got a mole. Let's do the mole real quick so I don't forget. All right, I'm gonna make it kind of big too. All right, that way that can be drying. I'm gonna do a little bit of kind of a contour with a dark purple shadow around my nose. Just gonna shape it and kind of make it look thinner. I'm just blending with my finger. <laughs> it works for me, so. <laughs> I don't need a bunch of tools, I got fingers. And everybody's got fingers, so that's cool. <laughs> well, not everybody, I'm sure, but. <laughs> Most people have fingers to work with. My hands are gonna be purple anyway, so. All right, there's that. I'm going to do my creases here in my face with the purple as well. And then she had a really predominant sort of rounded chin. So I'm gonna try and do that as well. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of blend it out. I'm gonna add a little highlight with some white in the areas where necessary. And then I'm gonna finish painting my body. And then we need lipstick. <laughs> I'm 
I know it looks crazy right now. We're going to go over it with a little purple, just a little bit. I wanted to make a bigger mouth, so I went and curved up with the pencil. My pencil is not sharpening and it looks like it's melted a little bit sitting here. So bigger and pointed upward, almost like a joker look for this one. You can't give Ursula too much drama. You just It's not possible. So just drama the heck out of her. All right, I didn't finish filling in with this because I'm going to finish filling in with this. This is the Give. It's the All Day Wear Lip Line from Gwen Stefani. And I like it. I think it works pretty well. It's bold. This is the original recipe. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> now because that movie just came out, this one might make a splash. No pun intended. She's a great character. She's a villain. I love the villains. Poor unfortunate souls. I think we did pretty good. Let's go put on our costume. All dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. I'm not going to say this is an easy costume, but it's super fun and you'll have a lot of fun creating it. It's not going to be a comfortable costume if you do it this way. Uh, if you're into comfort, probably get one of the ones from Amazon. It's still going to look great. The makeup turned out awesome. This episode is dedicated to the late, great Harris Glenn Milstead, otherwise known as Divine. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video, and we'll see you next time.